We've got some thunderstorms ongoing right now. A big lightning show across our northern counties, Dark County, Shelby County. That's where we've seen the most intense uh, portions of the storms. Uh, you can see it on Live Doppler 2 HD. And uh, the southern counties, fairly quiet, Eaton, Dayton, Xenia, but not for long. This is drifting slightly to the south, especially this particular uh, cell right in here has a definite southern, com southern component with that, working into northern Wayne County now. So this is going to work also into Preble and Montgomery counties as we head through the next hour or so. So it does look like a very active start to the day with some stronger thunderstorms out there. Nothing severe at this time. We'll watch it closely, though. 70 right now, dry in Dayton, but cloudy. By lunchtime, 80 degrees and a few breaks in the clouds. And then late afternoon on into the evening, more scattered showers and even a few thunderstorms will be possible with that weak front dropping in. It's 70 now. We've got a northwest wind at 6. Our dew point is 66, so it is still feeling quite muggy out there. Notice our 24-hour uh, rainfall in Dayton is only about a tenth of an inch, but we have seen some higher amounts, especially in those northern counties. That's where we have those flood advisories in effect. Anywhere from a half inch all the way up to three inches, maybe even three and a half, are Doppler estimated totals. Uh, so significant rain north of town from yesterday through the overnight hours. Here are current temperatures. It's 66 in Bell Fountain, 68 in Piqua, still 70 in Dayton, 69 in Springboro. And we have that area of high pressure still sitting south of us. The front has sagged a bit farther south and now located just to our north. That will continue to slowly drift in as we head through those afternoon hours with the potential for a few more showers and thunderstorms. Now, future track does give us a break in the rain as we head into the late morning and early afternoon. But then we get into the heating hours of the day, 5 o'clock. Few scattered showers, thunderstorms around, not a washout. There will be a lot of dry weather today as well. But the rain chances continue tonight and on into Friday, where rain is likely tomorrow, especially as we head into the afternoon hours. A wave of low pressure is going to ride along our front. Here's lunchtime with more scattered showers and thunderstorms around. Today's high 84, a warm, humid afternoon with a few showers and thunderstorms likely to develop later today. And tonight, scattered showers and thunderstorms continue to be a possibility. We're going to drop to 67. Still warm and humid tomorrow. More scattered showers, thunderstorms. We're right back up into the mid 80s. Your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast going into the weekend. Mid 80s will continue for those highs. But it looks like we're going to be drying out. Maybe a shower or two around Saturday, but a lot of dry weather as well. Sunday and Monday look dry. We're going to see a decrease in humidity as we head through the weekend. And then especially you'll notice that next week.